You know, David, that puts a fine point on, on the discussions that are taking place in Washington right now, with the PPP being extended, perhaps, for small businesses. As you point out, it's the big brands that are doing well. They have the money to invest and, and to make sure their spaces are, spa are safe. The, they're able to tap the capital markets if they if they need more money for that, too. But, but small businesses, small restaurants, um, don't really have anywhere to turn or anything uh, that they can do in response. What, what would you say to Washington's leaders who are discussing this right now? Yeah. Well, I think, you know, we, we need, probably need to do everything we can to help these uh, small business owners. I mean, you know, it's very challenging. You know, I don't know where it really stops. So, you know, it's like you can just keep more pouring money after it. But if you don't have customers, you know, you know, it's a big problem. So, you know, we got to get this vaccine. Yeah. Which every you know, I hear from my sources that you know we're much closer to this than people could ever imagine. We need to be able to get our country confident again. You know, Becky, the worst thing that can happen to you with any brand or any business uh, in any situation is to be caught in the middle. Okay, and that's exactly where the United States of America is right now. You know, we're caught in the middle. You know, you know, we're not really at, you know going back to work. We're kind of at home, not at home. We're caught in the middle, and when you're caught in the middle. It's going to be tough going for a while, and I think that's that's what we're what we're dealing with. You know, with my uh, podcast that I, I've been doing, uh, you know, with these great CEOs, and you know, we just launched uh, uh, our worldwide premiere of How Leaders Lead with David Novak last week. You know, what we're seeing two big trends that that consumers are or that CEOs are having to deal with. One is COVID-19. And I think everybody's looking at this as a as a time to take care of their people and re reinvent their business. I mean, you know, it's it's amazing the you know, the big buzzword in business now is pivot. Well, everybody's pivoting. Look what you've done at CNBC. You pivoted very quickly so you could continue your broadcast. Panera Bread, they offered within 14 days curbside service, okay, for for grocery mm -hmm. delivery, not just food delivery. You know, I talked to Kendra Scott, you know, they, they're doing virtual try-ons of, of their jewelry, you know. And then when I, you know, I talked to Brian Cornell and Brian, you know, their goal is to be the safest place to shop. And he said digital has accelerated three to five years from where it was. And, you know, nobody looks at a long-term plan right now. Your, your long-term plan is four weeks. I mean, it's, it's not three to five <laughs> years. I mean, it, it is like, you know, people are scrambling. Uh, and then, you know, you got this social ju justice issue, which I think every CEO I've talked to uh, is trying to do what they can in their piece of the world to attack racism and the inequality that, that's out there. You know, I talked to Evan Spiegel at Snap. I mean, he wrote a, a really thoughtful uh, document to his, to his uh, employees, and he talked about the need to invest in uh, future in the future to improve the future, and that you know, like seven percent of government spending yeah. is only on 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 investment right now. So, you know, it's it's a uh, it, it, you know everybody's trying to do what they can with that issue as well.